Hey guys, welcome to Aegis Prime Gaming. My name is Alex, and today we are gonna unbox the Genki Shadowcast. And the Genki Shadowcast, you know, you can connect your any console you want. For example, I have the Switch right here. You can connect, hell, you could even connect. It's too big, but you can connect the PS5, which I have right here to your computer monitor and use that as the screen so that way when you are traveling or maybe you don't have enough real estate or whatever then you can use the Genki Shadowcast as a monitor for, on your laptop uh, will also be I'll try and compare the best I can to the Elgato HD 60 which is what I usually use to stream and record from Elgato um, but here we have the box of the shadow cast it says that like I already said before that you can connect it to your con your console to the PC uh, you can use it as a webcam when you're in discord for example you have your screen and then you want another screen you can use that uh, you can also use it as video capture maybe on OBS uh, camera hack connect to a camera and unlock more possibilities uh, you just need right here it says that you need to launch the Genki Arcade app connect the USB-C cable and just insert it right there here are the technical specifications it says that you know you can connect up to 4K 30 FPS, which is great, or 1080p 60 FPS, which is also great. Um, and that's about it. Let's get inside of it. Let's see if I can open it around here. Like, why doesn't these things ever come easy to open? get rid of the plastic right there there's some plastic for cats and it just slides right out Genki mm -hmm. put that tab right there and we have the Genki Put this aside for a second. Let's see what else comes in the box. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable. Right there, 2.0, about 1.8 meters. That's like, I wanna say four feet. We get this awesome Samus, Dark Samus uh, sticker, which looks awesome. I don't know where to put it because I can never decide where to put stickers. A, looks like a Yankee sticker. The instruction manual. Blah, blah, blah. How to use. Done. And that looks to be about it for what's inside the box. Now here we have the Genki Shadowcast. I believe this is the yellow version, which is the... Eh, don't forget the cable. It's a ninja. Oh my god! The shadow has a little ninja on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Put it to the side. And here we have it. Let me see if it focuses in. I believe this is the like the Founders Edition or something like that because it's the gold accent. Uh, we have a HDMI and a USB type C. So if you want to stream games, I mean, just look at it. It take look the HD 60s, which is is a older model because I think there's an HD S plus. But it's the same size. Either way, for the um, the HDX Plus, you have the HDMI, the USB-C, and in, and for and out. But I mean, look at this. This is the size of a USB thumb drive. Anyway, let's see how it is connected to a 
laptop. I have my laptop right here. And they always show off the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, let's show it off. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, all I have to do is open this right here. Shadowcast is a great name because it literally just hides. You connect it there. And like the box said, don't forget your USB cable. Let's use the one that's included. Here it is, nice braided cable, you know, you know, nice quality. 1.8 meters, which I would assume is about like four feet. Pretty long cable. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Connect it here. Maybe I should have, you know, connected the USB first. How about that? Connect it right there. And again, we'll do this again. Connect it right in here. Now it has gained the name Shadowcast because you don't even know it's in there. Put the switch to the side. Let's connect the other side to the PC. And there we have it. We have the Genki Arcade set up on the laptop right here uh as you can see we have super smash brothers on uh i don't feel any lag at all that much uh, you can here you can adjust the different modes you can uh, you can apply different modes sorry about that Like I said, you can apply different modes. Uh, there's a performance mode and a resolution mode. Uh, you can also adjust the volume, but since we're here, I'll leave it at performance mode. And let's check out how Super Smash Brother looks on this thing. Uh, it needs to check, you know. And it's right there. Uh, let's go to training for a bit to see if we can, uh, if I can find training. Nope. To see, you know, how the button presses, you know, I press the button and it jumps. Let's see if we can, you uh, know, just so, do something really quick to at least, you know, notice the lag a little bit, at least on the switch. Uh, here you can see, you know, I'll press the button, and it bumps, press it. So, I don't think there's that much of a lag, or any lag at all. I mean, you can pretty much play here. I'm not that good, so whatever. But yeah, it plays really well. I mean, looks really good. And see, you can even have it, here I have my OBS. And hey, look, 
nice streaming right there in the background and you can stream and play it at the same time using this tiny little thing I mean look at it look, look at this thing uh, no not saying anything about Elgato but I mean that packaging it just fits into there uh, I also want to check out they also mentioned that you can use the PS you can use anything really it doesn't have to be the switch but I want to you know connect this so uh, let me you know let's Hey look, even glows. Let's, you know, take this out. There you go. Push the Nintendo Switch to the side. And let's connect the behemoth that is the PlayStation 5. Here we go. The PlayStation 5 is connected, as you can see, it's right there, and we will turn it on. And let's see, what do we get? It's working! It says adjust the area. It's adjusted for what I, you know, really want. So yeah, here we have the PS5. Uh, it seems to be working great. Uh, let's check quick our screen video resolution. It says 1080i isn't supported, but it is supporting 4K. So, yeah, that is awesome. I mean, let's check out really quick how a game like Control looks like. Check it out really quick here. I mean, yeah, this is totally playable. looks a little rough on the edges but that because I have it in performance mode maybe we switch it over to visual to resolution looks great I mean everything works fine very responsive yeah it looks great now, like I've mentioned before, you can use this as your streaming setup. So, at least in the PS5's case, and also the Xbox One, I mean Xbox Series X, uh, the Genki app, the Shadowcast does support 4K 30fps. So, if you want to get all those details when you're streaming, or when you're in a, or whatever, you can get it out of the Genki Shadowcast. But I have the Shadowcast HD 60 S and this is locked at 1080p 60 FPS. There's not it's locked right there, you know, you can't do anything else about it. But like I said, it's it's great, but hey Something, something. And one of my favorite pieces, you know, not my favorite pieces, but one of my favorite things about the Genki Shadowcast is that, you know, this little Shadowcast right here costs $39. And you can use it to stream and whatever, but if you want a dedicated one like this HD60S Elgato, 
This is about $180 brand new and I've had it for a couple years. Like I said, it's great, but you just can't beat the price on the HD, on the Genki Shadowcast. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, hope you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.